what is goody in the hoodie my guys it's your boy the hippo 55 out here hopping on that bad bandwagon train playing some minecraft doing a minecraft let's play let's go starting a new world single player create new world survival more world options generate structures yes a lot cheats yes because i cheat for fun cheating is okay it's only for fun i don't care all you haters you're gonna hate I don't care. I cheat. In certain situations, you'll see. D world type default, obviously. Bonus chest on. Because you need that bonus, you know. And seed. Completely random. Don't care. Done. Create world. Let's hop right into it. And as this generates, I have no idea what I'm going to do this episode. But it's okay. Because you know, I'm just going to go with the flow. And by the way, any of the OG Minecraft fans... What is this new loading screen? What is it? Can someone please explain to me? That was never there before. And we are here. Okay, this is an interesting biome. Bonus chest. Gotta always check the bonus chest. Birch. Birch is one of the ugliest woods in this game. Gotta collect everything from the bonus chest. And the goal for this episode that um every time i start a new minecraft survival world the first thing i do is obviously get some wood and stuff basic materials and stuff like that but i always start mining first because if i lose anything i really don't care because i don't have anything oh and one thing i have to do this when i said about cheating i cheat i'm not gonna cheat right now but there's one thing i always do slash Slash game rule keep inventory true. This is so whenever you die, you don't all the stuff in your inventory doesn't fall out. I don't care what anyone thinks. I always do this because I hate trying to find my loot, and I don't want to do that. I want to play this game for fun. For fun. I'm not a try hard. And I'll show you this right now. If I just die. It might take some time. And okay, I'm regaining hearts. If I just do slash kill me, look, my stuff doesn't fall out of my inventory. It's still there. But anyways, let's go venture off. We have the sea over here. Doesn't seem like anything much. Sugarcane over here. Sugarcane is good for enchanting. That's all I know. You make books, bookshelves, get paper. Paper and leather makes books. Books and wood makes bookshelves. Bookshelf and enchanting table makes higher enchantments. So that's what we're doing. And sugar cane. And now the goal right now is perfect. Finding a cave. And we're gonna mine now because I really don't care if I die. I really have nothing valuable. So, you know, just basic coal. Um, this is probably pretty boring, but it's for entertainment. Um, yeah. Just mine some coal. All this boring stuff in the future, I definitely will time lapse and fast forward. But right now, I don't think now's the time. That didn't take too long. And thankfully, this is a cave. And now, we take our wood, wood, crafting table, we can make, take this, make sticks, sticks, and coal, make torches. And what do torches do? Torches make everything bright. Make everything bright again. Bright again. And of course, literally the worst thing in Minecraft is dead ends and caves. Why, Mojang? Why not? Why do you have to make dead ends? It's literally the most depressing thing ever. You think you found something good and all of a sudden you just turn around, dead end. Especially when you're in one of those caves that go keep on going deep and deep and you're like, yes, I'll finally find something good. And all of a sudden they smack you with a dead end. It's like, oh my God, I'm going to suck on Notch's toes. That's what, is that really what I'm going to have to do so I can get caves that don't end right away? But besides that point, I can't believe I said I'll suck Notch's toes. 
That was, um, never thought I would say that in my life, but I just did. Let's find an actual cave that actually doesn't end in a dead end. Because, you know, I hate that. I'm pretty sure everyone who's plays Minecraft before can vouch for me that that is literally the worst thing ever. Who wants to dig down? Not even dig down, just find a cave and get all hopeful and stuff. And then all of a sudden, bam, dead end. Stressful times. You need to get some food to survive. Sheep is very important. You need to make a bed. But I'm right, very close to spawn, so it really doesn't matter. Did you know that most of the times axes do more damage than an iron than a, pit, a normal like sword? Like an iron axe does more damage than an iron sword. I found that very strange. I'm just gonna trigger you all by leaving that there. Now, after this tree, we're gonna actually find a cave. I said no, I said that multiple times, but now we'll actually find a cave. And perfect, the axe broke. So the goal right now is just find a cave and mine. But um, the my goal is just to, you know make a whole city like everyone else does. And my main house, I know what I want to make. I want to make a giant chest house. So I'm gonna to need to find lots of terracotta. That'd be very helpful if we find a mesa biome, but those being very rare, my best bet is just finding immense amount of clay, so I could dye the, the dye the clay and make it terracotta, and we found a cave. Let's go. In. Iron. That's beautiful. And to get that iron, we're gonna take out the crafting table. Stick. Ooh. Um. Yes, of course. Don't you love creepers? Okay, that was not planned at all. Oh, I hate this game. So much. I think I personally think the creepers are always bad because they literally sneak up on you and the just get a hole, just explode. Just terrible, especially if you have just like that. I was not aware that there was a creeper there. Might just because I have terrible ears and I can't listen, but still. That was terrible. Now I don't even know where that cave went. And it's and it stole my crafting table. Oh, this is a great start. <sighs> I found another cave over here. We're just gonna go down here. I could craft another crafting table. And oh I found it. Minecraft been spawning more mobs than it has ever has been. Cause like I've been playing to get back in the groove, and when I was playing, every single cave there's like 50 mobs in one. Like if you don't light up one area, I'm dead. If you don't light up one area, and three seconds, thousands of mobs will spawn. Is that just me, or is that just Minecraft in general just being just an interesting game? It's completely changed from the last time I played. Because now there's multiple craft, just stone cutters and multiple like looms and these lectern things. And what happened to villagers? Who remembers those simple brown coats and la white lab coats and the blacksmiths just having the black cape apron thing? Now they're all like fancy and textured and all this. It's weird. Never thought this game would get this advanced. Pandas, bamboo. That's that's pretty intense. Now, to get this dude, I'm gonna make a stone sword because you need to fight off the skeleton. Skeletons are probably the second most annoying mob because they just snipe you out of nowhere and they keep on getting you. Like, you could be a thousand blocks away and they'll still get you, and then you're so confused on how it's still getting you. Is this just me or horror? Is this is everybody because I feel like this is a lot, but, anyways. Let's go. And it's gone. Where did it go? And watch now, it's gonna sneak up on me at any random time. And uh, I'm just gonna scream. I'm gonna scream as loud as I can. So, yeah. 
I'm probably gonna fast forward this because this is very boring. I don't think you guys want to see me just mine. I'm just going to. I'll stick with you for a little bit longer, but if I don't find anything good, I'll probably fast forward. But the goal right now, just mine. Get as much loot as I can possibly get right now because I have nothing to lose. And I really don't care. Because making a house, you have to settle in, move everything, and then if you if you die, it's just so annoying. But, like, if I die right now, I'll probably just, like, never come back to this cave ever again. But. Yeah. Okay, this cave really didn't have much in store for me. Yep, nothing. Another dead-end cave. Not, I'm telling you. Gotta fix your game. Gotta fix. Oh my god, another dead end. I love you, Notch. Notch. Notch is my lord and savior. Honestly. Like, I couldn't ask more. Notch, just make the Every single cave, just make it. All of them have a dead ends. Don't even make it a full cave. Why? Why should you actually make the game fun? And, and make it so that there's no caves have a dead end? No, just every good promising looking cave. Just leave it as a complete dead end so you disappoint every player who plays this game. Oh, this is very stressful. It's very it's always hard to start a survival world after playing on another survival world that you built up so far. But you know what? It's for the culture. You know there's a whole Minecraft wave going on right now. Everyone's playing Minecraft. Everyone and their mother is playing Minecraft. I don't know why. Does anyone know why there's such a big Minecraft change? What, what does Minecraft do? Is it because of the bamboo and the pandas and all that? I don't know. See, if I had a cave right now, I wouldn't care about the night. Because I'd just be mining away. But, until then, I'm just going to be struggling to live and survive. I'm probably going to fast forward now until I find a cave. And I'll meet you guys back when I find a cave. found something that looks promising i hear a lot of zombie noises and of course mobs more mobs as i was saying before every place you need to go you need to light it up and if i die i'm actually gonna be so sad <coughs> oh my god the one cave i found that actually looked somewhat good and i die i think that's enough i can't do this anymore i will see you guys on the next episode probably the day after i upload this one See you guys, and make sure to check out my other videos, and to check out my boy, the big baller boy. He has some bangers. Go check it out. See ya.